improve here at race conditions. And Tenno Spur is one of the major players. Four dollars out to seven fifty. They turn, and we're just about set to go. Ready? Away. Slow away wins some Ruby. Coming out galloping position two was Ten No Spurs, so there'll be no treble for Josh Holberton tonight. Great Fantasy, which uh, backed at odds, has found the front. Getting into second placing is our Spitfire. She might appreciate that little cover behind on this occasion. The back marker is trotting steadily, my bad habits. He's about uh, 15 metres off the, the nearest horse in front of him. Now, Winsome Ruby, she's in third placing about 20 metres behind our Spitfire. Count is doing everything right at this stage on the inside. Racing on its outside is Love Lawn. Following Love Lawn is Illawong Moonbeam. So she's one out, one back, but 40 metres from the leader virtually, about maybe 35. Uh, Super Angus follows through. He's biding his time. I hurry with my bad habits, just hoping that he gets into a rhythm and he's still trotting, which is good. And the tempo is pretty genuine up front. Uh, Ten no spur, no good at the tail, 150 metres away virtually. Lead time, 51.3. Out in front, great fantasy. He's been specked at odds and Corey Johnson looking for another winner here tonight. Moving to the outside, Winsome Ruby comes to face the breeze now. Moves up on the outside of our Spitfire as they make their way down the back. Count Air doing everything right. Three back the inside, not quite filling his position. Uh, in the 1-1, one, one, Love Lawn, not quite filling his posse, but he'll get on to uh, the back of Winsome Ruby very shortly. Illawong Moonbeam travels OK on the back of Love Lawn. Then in turn behind those Super Angus, my bad habits. He's still about 10 metres away, so Ray Horrocks giving him plenty of racing room and that long gap to Tenno Spur. So the lead time, 51-3. The first quarter, 31.5. Great Fantasy brings him into the front straight to get the siren. Winter Ruby second. Susie tacked on Ray Horrick with my bad habits. He set him a light three wide. Uh, trying to flush out it along Moonbeam. Does that. Lovelorn stayed in. So Lovelorn stays in the 1-1 one, one behind Winsome Ruby. And along Moonbeam goes forward. Went roughly for a stride or two. Threw the head up in the air just a little bit there. Uh, probably uh, just keen to make sure Lovelorn keeps in a pocket. My bad habits struggling to keep the back of Illawong Moonbeam. Leading travels pretty good here down the back straight, the one they've specked at odds. And he's in front, and that is um, Great Fantasy. In second placing our Spitfire. Now, Count Air on the inside is going OK, looking to angle off and get on the back of Illawong Moonbeam. Then in turn behind those Lovelorn, who's trying to follow through underneath Count Air. And the others are too far back to feature. Great Fantasy in front. Moving up on the outside, Illawong Moonbeam. Our Spitfire. A margin of three or Four metres to count here. Lovelorn's held up on the inside. Count here not running on quick enough to catch the lead. If she trots, she's home in a long move beam. Great fantasy kicking back. Our Spitfire. She's sneaking up on the inside. She's got to beat her. Our Spitfire coming at this one. Illawong Moonbeam kicks. Our Spitfire got up to beat Illawong Moonbeam. Third placing behind those was Great Fantasy. Then Lovelorn following those through Count Air Super Angus. Uh, then we had My Bad Habits, Winsome Ruby. And the last one home was Tenno Spur.